All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this my NBA career. We're starting off here in Energy 2K. All of these stats from that game five are in. I shot eight for 20 from the field, four for nine from downtown, six of six from the free throw line. I had 15 assists, seven turnovers, nine rebounds. Uh, I had two steals, zero blocks, and a plus 23. A modifier is on one who hit the win, except, and we're on to round two. If we go to round one, those are the stats for game five. We're heading into round two, and we have a lot of comebacks to go over. And looking at the playoff racket, last time you saw it, the Sixers were up 3 1, the Hawks were up 3 0, the Pacers were up 2 0, the Suns were up 3 1, and the Warriors were up 2 0. So, all in the first round, the Hawks blew a three games to nothing lead. The first team in NBA history to do that. The Atlanta Hawks blow a 3-0 lead to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Pacers blow a 2-0 lead to the Magic. And the Sixers blow a three games to one lead to the second seeded Detroit Pistons. That one caught me completely off guard. I really thought we were facing the Sixers in round two, but no. We will be facing the Pistons and over on the west side, as you know, the Suns are up 3-1 on the Spurs who have AD and Giannis. The Spurs end up out in the 3-1 comeback and the Warriors took a 2-0 lead on the Thunder. The Thunder proceeded to win the next four games and that leaves us with our matchup against the Detroit Pistons. They have Cade Cunningham. I will be guarding Jaden Ivey who had a pretty bad series, only shooting 40% from the field. Uh, they have Brandon Miller, who's a dog, averaging 27 points in his first ever playoff series. So their bigs are probably their weakest point with Bagley and Durin and Derwin. So I expect uh, Aiton to cook. And Rozier, who had a fantastic first round series, got traded here at the trade deadline and now will be facing his former team. And before we start this game, I'm actually going to up the CPU shot, um, the C whatever it is. I'm going to up it. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave the three pointer alone. Actually, I'm gonna up it to 65. Uh, cause they already hit all their open threes, anyways. Layup success will up to a 70. Shot coverage impact. Uh, I'm gonna dump it down to 50. Other than that, everything else stay the same. So that's CPU. These are mine. As you can see, I am severely outmatched in the slider department. Everything is up by 30, but we're still blowing teams out. So without further ado, let's head into this game one in Detroit. We'll be on the road here against the Pistons. All right, here we go. Round two facing the 56 and 26 Pistons finally facing a different opponent. We have not played this team at all in this series. And this is the 38th episode. If you guys aren't new here, be sure to subscribe. I've been uploading 2K basically every single day. I don't know how, but I have, you know, that that's what that's what you guys enjoy. I'm gonna keep uploading it. But yeah, we started our own my career. I finished my two seasons. I usually do in the actual my career mode, then I switch over to my NBA, where I, this year is Cedric Lewis. Usually it's Harold Johnson I use, but Cedric Lewis was the one I started using this year. And why is Jaden and Ivy wearing number seven? Did Brandon Miller take his number? It probably, because, you know, 2K. Jalen Duren is gonna start off with a dunk, but yeah. Be sure to subscribe to get content every single day. I might start doing NBA discussion content because, you know, I want to be talking about my Miami Heat as they're going to leave Cedric wide open from downtown. It's off. I struggled in that Bulls series, by the way. But, yeah, I think I'm making some NBA um, content, like talk content uh, about you know, what's going on in the NBA. So if you do would like that, leave a comment. As you can see, the mobile ball stats only averaged 17 points in the regular season all the way up so far to 20 five points on 70% shooting in these playoffs in that first round because he's not taking jump shots. He's not launching threes. I've been running the pick and roll with the metal ball and it, as obviously you can see, is working to a T. All right, I'm gonna sub out here. We are down by four. Not a great start to this game. Let's hope our bench unit can outperform theirs and they do, up by one. Fast break, down the court. Yep, I'm, wide. I'm still wide open. You guys gotta get that ball out. You really do. Terry Rogier is ice cold. They're not going to have me set the screen. Of course they're not. Now now you do? What is going on, Lamella? What are we doing? Nick Richards over Marvin Bagley. I thought that was a guard. Lamella ball. Kick it right back. Oh, that's of course one. Oh, it's green. Cedric, bad release. I have hit, I believe, four threes in this quarter alone to get the lead up to 10. Terry Rozier, he has been ice cold against his former team. 
I already yoinked the ball from him twice. Cade Cunningham. I'm willing to, for you to give it to Rozier. He might knock that down, though, and he does. Lewis looking for it again. Oh, Brandon Miller was all over that. He, he was all over that. Brandon Miller guarded me all the way up, up to the logo. Lamelo in the paint. It's good. Give me that. Yoink. Get that. Someone get that. Up to me. Lamelo ball to Cedric. A ah, bit of a weak dunk, not going to lie. But the lead has ballooned up to 11. Cedric Lewis has come alive 13 points in this second quarter currently and it's only going up Another steal that's five in the quarter for Lewis I'm going right at Rozier and gets fouled five steals in this quarter for Cedric Lewis and the Hornets are about to be up by 15 15 points. They were up by one when Lewis subbed in the game. He has gone nuclear and they sub Rozier out after causing five, I believe. I think I saw from him five times, five turnovers from Rozier. They're forced to bring Ivy back in the game as the lead has ballooned. And oh, I got tipped. Oh my god, another one! Cedric looking like a free safety there. Oh no, I turned it over. I turned it right over. Oh, man. What is that? Six? Six steals for Lewis? And Bagley comes back with the point. I accidentally turned it over. Looking like a free safety. That is their 10th turnover of the game. Wow. Lamella Ball gave it up. That is insane, dude. Six steals in a quarter. That's got to be an NBA record, bro. It's got to. We're going to hold it here for the last possession, up by 12 so far in this game. Eight seconds left. Aiton, come set the screen because I know it takes forever for you to set one. Aiton, get the last bucket, and he misses. All right. 56 to 44 into the halftime. Seeing that we were only up by one when I got subbed in, big, big advantage. This game is just turning into a bloodbath. 18-point lead for the Hornets. The Pistons... No offense in the second half. The defense has been too much. This Hornets defense is just too much. Eight and on the break. Pull up contested jumper. What was that? that is not your game, my friend. That is not it. You are not that guy. Eight and you're also not that guy. You ain't getting steals like I am, all right? I've got seven on the game. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. Up by 18, I mean 19 points. 71-52 is the score. Up by 17. They still have life. All right. They're not going to be like the Celtics and bring in the entire bench unit down by 30 in the start of the fourth quarter. I mean, they were down by 30, but still, you're waving the white flag at the start of the fourth. Wow. Okay. Nice pass by Rozier. They deserve that bucket. Now it's down to 14. Oh, oh, please. Oh, did I not yank that from him? Ah, oh, that should have been number eight. I know I'm not. My goal is to try and get a triple double with steals. I know it's not going to happen. It's super difficult to do. Oh, he made the move where they were trying to get it to Rozier. Give me that. How in the... F Ain't no way. Hell no. Hell no. Give me that. Give me that. Keep cutting, Aiden. Why do you Why do you run to the perimeter, Aiden? Like, why? The lead has ballooned to 21. Cedric just hit a corner three. He has 45. And his eighth steal. Cedric with the steal goes back and he gets fouled cedric lewis eight steal game here in game one of this eastern conference second round unbelievable near triple double with steals still obviously three assists away almost 50 points this is probably the greatest game in nba history great screen by durin but it's off Lamella Ball with the rebound. I'm going straight to the basket. They're going to double team me. Kick it out, Marketing. Kick it out, Lamello. I'm going straight at him. Oh, Lamello's not playing point guard? Why is Lamello playing small forward? All right, here could be 50 points for Cedric Lewis. Another masterpiece of a game to steal. Technically, because we are the third seed, game one of this Eastern Conference semis as Cade Cunningham. Another tough shot for him and with time winding down we're going to absolutely tear apart 
the Detroit Pistons in game one. I'm going straight to the basket. Why not? 56 for Cedric Lewis. I think that's the second or third time I've done that in my short career. 124-108 is your final score on the Hornets. Take a 1-0 series lead over the Pistons. Final box where Brandon Miller played amazing. 33 points, 13 of 19, 5 of 9 from 3. I did let him just take threes at the end of that game in the fourth quarter. Like, I don't know if he'll show it. Yeah, 3 for 5, 7 for 9. I was just letting this man shoot. I didn't care. Uh, but he was having a great game nonetheless beforehand. Uh, Cade Cunningham completely just killed LaMelo Ball, 26 points. Rozier gave him 14 off the bench on bad efficiency. And Ivy. So the two guys I was guarding were booty cheeks. Says a lot there. Uh, for the Hornets, masterclass, Cedric Lewis, 56 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 9 steals. If I played 12-minute quarters, I would have gotten a triple-double with steals. That's insane. It is so difficult to do that in this game. But that stat line right there, unbelievable. Uh, 18 of 28 from the field. Never mind you, I started 2 of 7 in this game, and it was that second quarter where I just erupted. 8 of 11 from downtown, 12 of 12 from the free throw line. LaMelo didn't shoot great, but he had a good all-around game. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 13 assists. 8 and at 13 and 9. Mark didn't give us 11 and 11. Still can't hit a 3, though. And uh, Nick Richards gave us 10 off the bench. Uh, oh, my God. Mr. Tyus Jones, 11 assists off the bench. Okay. I will take that. That's going to be for me, though. GG.